So all the pink stuff in the snow um, is snow algae, and it's basically microorganisms that are living just in the very top layer of the snow, and um, obviously using the light from the sun to, um, and fixing carbon dioxide. Um, they only literally live in the very top layer, and they use uh, the melt water from obviously from the heat, and also they create a microenvironment around the cell of liquid water. So can you see the red bits here? Um, these are actually the algae themselves living in the snow, and they're just in the top layer. And actually, you should be able to see. Or maybe I'll show you if, if you just do that. This might be quite hard to see, but you can definitely see that it's literally just the top layer that they live in. It's because they need the access to the sunlight, but they also obviously don't want to be too close to the surface because of the huge temperature difference between the snow and the, the air. These are uh, snow algae that we've, we collected yesterday from up, up at the glacier at the top of this mountain here. Um, and they're bright red, which is actually why the snow is pink up there. Um, and you can really clearly see on here how, you know, how the red colour is just throughout the entire cell. And what it is, is a pigment called a carotenoid. And the carotenoids actually uh, completely surround the chloroplast. And the chloroplast is basically a, a part of the cell which is in the middle, which is what's used to generate energy from sunlight. And they're green usually, but because they're completely covered in this red carotenoid, it makes the cell look red. And the carotenoid is specifically involved in protecting the chloroplast from intense UV. So this is here what you can see is um, most likely the chloroplast. It's this darker blob in the middle of the cell and that's the sort of energy factory um, where they convert sunlight into energy with carbon dioxide um, and so obviously surrounded by the red carotenoids which will protect it from UV damage. Over winter the, um, the snow algae are buried by fresh snow. Um, and it means basically that their access to sunlight is completely cut out and they can no longer photosynthesize and grow. So what they'll do is sort of become dormant over winter and then uh, as the, the next summer season rolls around and the snow begins to melt, um, they'll form these smaller versions of cells uh, which will bud off from these larger, larger ones here and actually swim up using flagella um, to the surface. Uh, where they'll lose their flagella and begin to grow normally as these big red cells again. Which is uh, quite interesting because it means that the original cells from the previous winter will be left deep within the, the snow and, and um, the biomass, the carbon, the, the biological carbon they've formed will be sort of drawn down through the glacier through successive years and seasons.